Hi guys, welcome back. To put you in context, before I start the video, I am in New York. I arrived yesterday night from Milan after I almost eight hours flight time. All I did once I arrived, I was a bit tired. I changed my clothes. I went to take a shower and then I went to bed. So before we start today's video, let's have some coffee. Let's get started. So in this video, I will tell you how I was able to afford my pilot training. So this video would have two purposes. The first one is to answer the questions of many of you that are wondering that they come from a rich family, they just find the money somewhere, or that was working two jobs and studying at the same time. And also to answer the questions of other ones that want to take the path and enroll in the pilot training, but they just don't know what to expect. So I will tell you exactly what I had to face and maybe that will help you to make a clearer decision if you're going down this path. So let's get started. All right, this is how we went. When I found my flight school where I wanted to do my pilot training, that flight school had few partnerships with some banks and one of the banks gave me a loan of around 65,000 euros. That was a lot of money. And I'm sure a lot of you are asking now, how are you able to pay back that much knowing that there is a risk where you cannot find a job? And also, even if you find a job in the beginning, your salary is too low, will you be able to afford living expenses and paying back your loan? So the terms of the bank were the following. We give you the money, you have five years to spend it, but after the five years, you have to pick a plan, a 10 years payment plan or a five years paying plan. Obviously the five years, it's less time. So you're required to pay more monthly installment and the 10 years less monthly installment, but obviously you're paying more interest. By the time I took a loan until I found my first job, the five years were coming almost to an end. And at that time I had to pick a plan, either the five years or the 10 years. But my salary was nowhere near to be able to pay one or the other. Like any other job, when you start working, your salary is not that much. And especially if you have a loan behind you, you would have to pay the loan and also the minimum necessities like paying your food and your rental, etc. So I had to come up with a plan. Either start paying off my loan and be very, very tight on money, or I called the bank and they gave me another option, which was if I put the money in my account for 24 hours, the whole amount I took as a loan, I'll be able to reset my loan for another five years. So I did exactly that. I was able to gather here and there from people who trusted me and put the money in my account for 24 hours that was able to reset the five years. And after the 24 hours, I, res I resend the money to everyone who trusted me and uh, had another five years. But there is more to the story. As time was passing, I was making more money and I was able to save more. So I was able to pay the interest and reduce the principal amount by paying some lump sum here and then. But then something happened. As you guys know, the COVID was a big hit on everyone. And uh, I had to make a decision either to keep paying the interest or just close the loan once and for all. And probably I would have saved some money on three or four years that was remaining. And that's exactly what I did. And I think that's one of the best decisions that I've ever done by reducing the principal or by closing the loan. I was able to save a lot of it. The interest was reducing and reducing, and at the end I had smaller principal to pay. So to sum it up, from the moment I took the loan in 2011, I had the five years in 2016, and from there I had to choose a plan, five or 10 years. And five years would have ended in 2021, that means a higher payment plan, or a lower payment plan which would have ended in 2026. From the moment I took the loan in 2011 until I closed it, it was nine years. 
So as if I took it for five years, the one that the bank grants you and allows you to spend the money, and then I finish it before the five years. I think for everyone out there, if you put your mind into something and you have the will, you will find a way. And I think if you're willing to go down this path, you'll figure it out and you'll find a solution to whatever problem you face. All right, with that, we can conclude our video. Uh, I'm just going to show you some footage, random ones that I've filmed for today's video in New York, because there are so many things you can do in New York. I was filming at the same time, I had so many distractions. <laughs> I had to stop for Mexican food and I'm sure I'm going to find so many other distractions. Second destruction of the day. To sum up the video, I really think that it doesn't matter from which background you come from. If you want to make it, you can make it. For some, it's harder. For others, it's easier. And some of you out there that think that some others are very lucky to be coming from a rich family or whatever, they were in a good financial situation, that it doesn't matter. That's a really wrong mindset. And I don't see what's wrong with that, actually. If you were in that position, you would take it as well. So I don't blame or should blame anyone that was in a better financial situation than me because other people were in a worse financial situation than me or some others are really struggling to be able to weather the storm on how to make it as a pilot. But uh, yeah, this is just to show you how to shift your mindset and to see things in a broader perspective rather than focus on things that really have no significance. That's it for today. I really hope that this one will help you shape up your uh, mental model or your um, decision. And if it does, leave me in the comment below, tell me how this video was impactful in your life. Until then, stay safe.